Okay, we're going to perform the air brakes test on an activity bus. The first thing we're going to do, well, first of all, we've been performing the uh, pre-trip inspection and we're doing the interior, so the bus has already been started for a little while. Our pressure is already built up. We are at least 120 pounds. Now we're going to start the air brakes portion of it. Your first step is to turn the bus, the motor off, the engine off with the key. But do not forget to click it back to the on position. At this point, you tell the examiner that uh, the bus uh, should be chalked. And if you're chalked, then go ahead and uh, release your parking brake. Now, we're going to do a series of three specific tests related to the air brakes part of it. And the first one is the leak test. So what we're going to do on that is we're going to have us a, a timer. And whether that's your phone or a stopwatch, whatever your choice is, you're going to initially push your service brake. And you should lose no more than 15 pounds on your pressure. You've got a front gauge and a rear gauge here. No more than 15 pounds, and I only lost about 5 pounds. And I'm going to be checking to make sure for one minute that I lose no more than 3 PSI as I'm holding my brake pedal down. So I'm watching my gauges. My gauges are not moving. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to say that a minute has elapsed, and we've lost no more than 3 PSI. So I will stop my stopwatch there and we'll move on to the second portion of the air brakes test now what I'm gonna do is I'm looking for the warning light this is the warning test and that should be no less than 60 psi so I'm gonna fan my service brake and my warning buzzer or sound should come on my lights my front and rear lights are on at no less than 60 psi in this case I'm about 70 pounds. Now I'm going to move on to the third portion of the air brakes test and that is the emergency brake pop out portion. Now what I'll do is I'll continue to fan my brakes and it should pop out somewhere between 20 and 40 psi. And it did pop out and I'm right at 35 PSI. So this bus has uh, passed all three of the main air brakes portions of the test. However, we still need to uh, build the pressure back up on the bus. So I'm gonna start my motor. And what I'm gonna do in order to get the RPMs correct on the bus, I'm going to hit my high idle switch. If you don't have a high idle switch, then you'll have to push the gas. And what your goal is, is to get it somewhere between 1500 and 2000 RPM. My bus is revving up and it's pressuring up. My warning buzzer should go out somewhere around above 60, 60 to 70 pounds. And you may also remember, by the way, that it is set right here because it popped out. To get my timing device ready. My warning buzzer has went out around 70 pounds, but I've got to watch my gauges because when I get to 85, I will start my timer. And I'm looking to for the bus to build up pressure from 85 to 100 psi in less than 45 seconds. So I am at 85. I'm going to start my timer. And I'm watching for my air gauges on my front rear to pressure up to 100 psi. Should be less than 45 seconds. All right. I'm at 100 psi and it took around 24 seconds to build up that pressure so the bus has passed that pressure build up test but we're going to continue to let it build up pressure until it reaches at least 120 psi and you should hear a either a sound or a clicking or something that indicates that that pressure is released once it gets to around 120 psi Alright, we 
heard that it's a real quiet noise on this particular bus, so listen carefully when you're listening for it. We heard our pressure build up, so now we're going to turn our high idle off, and we're going to continue on to check the other brake tests, and that's going to be like your service pedal and also your parking brake test. It's easiest to start with a parking brake test, so what I'm going to do is put my foot on the brake. I'm going to put the bus in drive. I'm going to release my service brake, and then I'm going to hit the gas pedal, making sure that I rev it up enough and that the bus stays put, that it doesn't move anywhere. And that makes sure that your parking brake works correctly. At this point, I'm going to do my service brake test. And so it's already in drive. I'm going to release my parking brake. Then I'm going to pull forward at about five miles per hour. You want to get at least five miles per hour. And then I'm going to hit the pedal and release the steering wheel. And it should pull to the right or to the left or do any stuttering, anything like that. So I'll set my parking brake, put it in neutral. And at this point, I have completed my air brakes my brakes tests.